Well, these batteries are already TSO certified. So they are certified to TSO C179B. And, you know, True Blue Power was the first company in the world to certify lithium ion battery packs for aircraft. So we've done this many times and we use the most current testing level, which is DO311A. And, you know, certification, it does cost money, but at the end of the day, most of the people that I know want reliability. And in our case, the certification is your assurance of reliability and safety of the product to protect your investment. Lithium ion batteries are an amazing technology, right? You wouldn't buy any other product typically without a lithium battery. As a matter of fact, today, you would be challenged to find products that use anything besides lithium type batteries. And that's because they can deliver a lot of power very quickly and they can also recharge very quickly. Some of our large batteries can do seven engine starts on a turbine and recharge in 15 minutes. So in a lot of cases, this is also your emergency power, right? So a fast recharge means that if you need emergency power, it's there, the amp hours. And in this case, this is the 14 volt, but it's 28 amp hours. That's your emergency power. We've already got uh, applied for AML STCs on some of the most popular single engine aircraft. And so there will be an STC available in this case from us. Other people will be doing STCs as well, but the key is to make the installation not very complicated, pretty straightforward, appropriate for the design, but to make it a fairly easy retrofit, but it would require an STC. Uh, although uh, you will likely see these on new aircraft in the very near future. In that case, it's coming right out of the factory in your new aircraft. When I started looking at this technology, we were doing backup batteries for standby instruments. And our customer said, well, we need standby power. So we were building batteries and I investigated this, but I wasn't really comfortable with the technology, you know, 15, 18 years ago. And then I learned about iron phosphate battery cells. And in our case, in our larger packs, we actually use nanophosphate developed by A123 Systems at MIT. And we found that they, it's, there are seven main chemistries of, of lithium ion. They're not all the same. And they fill different roles and they're all very good at what they do. But just like other things, some chemistries can deliver more power density, but they can be more volatile in a worst case scenario. If you break the battery, if you puncture a battery or if you short it out, Lithium batteries deliver a lot of energy. And if you short them out, you get a lot of energy. And of course, it typically turns into heat. Iron phosphate gives us a, an edge. And it's also being used by some of the most popular car brands like Ford and General Motors because of its ability to give durability and performance and safety. So it gives us an inherent edge. And you know, we're an aviation company. We don't do motorcycle batteries. We don't do batteries for boats. Safety above all else, right? So iron phosphate is a way for us to deliver the safest chemistry. And we prove that over and over and over. We are on lots of OEM aircraft. The Navy is using our products. We can provide high performance and safety in a package, guaranteed. And that's why we use iron phosphate technology in this battery and also all the other batteries that we manufacture.